best for last, I guess. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just want to say uh, thanks for, for allowing me to be here. I'm excited to be here at Nebraska. It's an amazing place, so thank you guys. Excited about the opportunity. Questions, guys? Hey, Coach. Sean Callahan with Husker Online. Uh, when, when did you know you were coming here, and, and how hard was it to kind of be quiet about it for, for quite some time and not maybe be publicly involved in recruiting and things going on over January? Yeah, so um, a, new, a new coach, had when Coach took the job, he had, uh, he had reached out to me. Uh, asked me if I if I wanted to come coach the linebackers and and him and I had that conversation and I finished the season in Carolina and and came out here when it was done. What made you want to come to Nebraska? Well, number one, the the tradition here is unbelievable. But also, I've been with Coach Rule for a long time. Him and I have a really good relationship with each other. Um, I know that he's going to do something great. We're going to do something great here. So it's something that I wanted to be a part of. Rob, did you kind of, uh, Mitch Sherman from The Athletic, did, did you kind of get started um, in coaching early? I'm, I'm sorry, I was looking at your, your uh, bio from Temple, but if you can kind of take us through that. Yeah. You played, got hurt, started in coaching. How did that, how did that, this profession begin for you? Yeah, so I, I played two years. I played my sophomore and my freshman year. Coach Rule was my head coach when I was a sophomore. So I played you know, all the way to my last game of my sophomore year, I got injured in the last game. Uh, unfortunately, that ended my career. I had a knee injury and, you know, at one point I, I went up to coach and I'm like, coach, like, you know, they said I'm done. Like, I don't know what to do, you know, football's been my whole life. So he's like, well, why don't, why don't you just help out and start coaching? So I started student assistant coaching um, at the end of my sophomore year, just helping out, doing every, everything I can, sitting in the coaches' meetings, you know, coaching the players. So I started out there, and then when Coach took the Baylor job, I went down there with him as quality control. I was there for two seasons. And then I left there and took a job at Lehigh University coaching the D-line for two years, which was an awesome experience for me as well. And then uh, go to Carolina with Coach for two seasons, and then uh, now I'm here. So it's been about 10 years um, and a lot of it with Coach. Did that just happen? because of the opportunity that was presented to you when you got hurt in college? Or did you think even before that that it was something you wanted, you, you knew you would want to do eventually? Yeah, uh, that's a good question. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Um, I was an education major in college. I've always had a passion to help young people. And uh, football felt like the way that I could do that. You know, I've, I've done it my whole life. I've always really enjoyed the game and helping people. So I wanted to, to stay involved as much as I could. What have your conversations with uh, Nick and Luke been like? They've obviously been starters for two years now. Yeah, uh, we've had great conversations. You know, my biggest thing coming here is getting to know those guys. You know, I want to build a relationship with them. And obviously, we started to do some football and workouts and all those type of things. But to me, I need to have a really good personal relationship with everyone in that room. So um, it's been good to, to kind of see where their minds are at, you know, with previous schematic things. and what they need to improve on. So just really getting to know them as people and getting more of the football now. Kevin, in Omaha World Herald, you talk about who's in your room. Do you have a sense of who that is right now with you know, a, new, a new defensive system coming in and an edge rusher and a linebacker, or is that still sort of being sorted out? Yeah, I think we're still kind of sorting it out. Uh, we're evaluating the guys right now, their movement, running around. You know, They're all in their shorts and shirts. So we're not really doing football yet. So. I think it'll take through the spring to really evaluate to see what's on the roster, what it, you know, where can we improve some areas, where do we need to help the guys in certain areas. So it's still a work in progress. What are some qualities of a, a top end linebacker that you're going to be looking for? Yeah, so we're going to try to find the guys that are tough, smart, competitive, but also have great traits. They're long, they can run, they're explosive, they can change direction. Uh, obviously, size is, is a huge factor in that as well. So. We're trying to find all those things um, and make make sure they're right for us. How would you describe uh, Tony White's defense? Um, that's a great question. Chaos. Chaos. How does that manifest itself schematically? From what you did, and not giving away secrets here, but like, how do you how does that manifest itself? Well, it's. It's, a, it's structured in a way that we can get to a lot of different fronts. We can get a lot of different coverages in, in many different ways of doing it. So uh, it's hard to describe because we could do a lot of things, but it could also look the same. So um, 
it's it's been it's been really cool to to learn the system with Coach White and um, see see how we could you know win on defense. Is it anything like anything that you you've been with before? Yeah, very similar. Uh, a lot of a lot of systems I've been in before. We've we've run four down. We run three down. We run five down. We went in a three three stack stuff. So I've been part of systems that are like it. Yeah. I follow up to the question about the personnel, and, and I know maybe you don't know, like you said, exactly who's going to be with you, but um, question about a, a couple of the transfers, uh, MJ and, and Chief Borders. Mm -hmm. You expecting to have those guys? Uh, in, in, I mean, are, are they coming coming to you now with stuff as as your as your position coach? Yeah, right? yep, yep. They've been in my room and trying to find the right space for all those guys. But they've been a pleasure to work with. What do you What do you think in particular about those two and just the experience that they have coming from from programs that they were in and what they can add here? Um, nothing, nothing in particular to them too. I think everyone within the room has been doing a really good job. Um, they're tough kids. They work hard. They're competitive, and and that's what we're looking for within the room. Hey Rob, Luke Mullen from the Lincoln Journal Star. You know, we we've, we've heard about kind of how the staff has a united you know message in recruiting, but. What's kind of your style? How do you pitch kids on the university? Uh, again, I think it all goes back to, to relationships. And the one thing I talk about with the guys, especially with my relationship with coaches, you know, I've been a player for them and now I coach with them. So I kind of know what it's like to go, you know, through this process and be recruited and be in their shoes. And, you know, we, the one thing about us, and I know Coach Foley talked about it, what makes us special is that we are a family. We're all really close. We spend a ton of time together outside of football. We all have each other's back. And I think a lot of kids in high school right now are looking for that, you know, find the right place for them. Is it a family? Are they going to push me in the right way? Um, how are they going to help me beyond football? We guys made a push into Pennsylvania in recruiting this in, in, in 2023 20, class. And I'm sure have intentions to do more of that. Going ahead, what, what's uh, it's it's not been a state that has produced a lot for Nebraska um, for a while. What what um, do Pennsylvania high school players have that's um, that's positive in your in in your opinion and, and can add to this? Place? Yeah, well, I think I'm a little biased because I'm from there, but um, they always got tough, athletic, really good football players, and so. Our job is trying to find the right ones that are for us, and obviously the talent is a huge deal. So we're gonna we're gonna go out and try to find the best ones, talented wise, and you know for the for the program the right fit. What did you take from your time in the NFL specifically, in kind of coaching different level athlete there? Yeah, uh, I think I think the biggest thing that I took away with it is they're all they're all like us, like. You know, I think there's a perception sometimes that like all oh, these guys make a lot of money, you know, prestigious athletes are always in the media, but they're all like us. They all want to learn. They all want to get better. If you have any good nuggets of information to help them, they're all willing to listen and learn. And um, I really enjoyed my time with them. A really good group of guys. Anything else for Coach? No. All right. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, you guys. guys.